as a musician, we all watch YouTube and a lot of DVDs and a lot of sources where we listen to music or watch tutorials or guitar tutorials or keyboard tutorials, whatever it is. Um, but many a times we find ourselves in a situation where we want that piece of music as a reference to play back in our favorite DAW so we can hear that while doing our music. Now what would you do if you come across such a video on YouTube? How would you get it into your session? The only way to do it is you would fidget around Google trying to find an application of how to download YouTube videos. It's a video how to convert it to a WAV file or an MP3, take it into Logic and then delete the source file. You know, go through that whole nine yards which just kills your efficiency and, and by the time you have the video, the audio, your mood is gone. Wouldn't it be great if you could record any audio source playing on your computer, the same computer, either uh, it, it, it can be a DVD, an audio CD, it can be a, a YouTube video or any of the uh, millions of streaming sites. If you could record the audio directly live into your DAW, I'm just going to show that how to do that. Now this thing that we want to do will require the help of a free third party app called Soundflower you'll see the link on the video right now go to this website and download soundflower it's a free free application once you've downloaded soundflower install it on your comp and you'll find it in the applications folder launch it and you'll see the small little flower over here on the menu what we need to do next is set up audio midi uh, open audio media setup and again create an aggregate device you'll have to do you'll have to create an aggregate device so that you can merge soundflower and your existing sound card to use the same inputs and outputs uh, you can I've already taught taught you how to create an aggregate device so over here I have made an aggregate device called Motu plus soundflower in which I've selected Motu 14 in 14 out and soundflower 2 channel the great part is that sound channel soundflower also has a 64 channel option but well, we are not going to use that right now so imagine what you could do for with 64 virtual audio outputs inputs in your system you can use a variety of sources and have them all come into logic at the same time whilst you record them live now once you've created your aggregate device we don't need audio media setup anymore in your DAW, you'll go to your preferences, and as I've showed you earlier, you'll select that aggregate device as your default uh, sound card. Now, as an example, I'm going to launch Safari, the browser, and uh, play you through a Sudeep audio uh, video on Gino Banks, a great drummer, an awesome drummer. Now, whatever he's playing, I like what he's playing, so I want to record this live. Now, as I said earlier, the only way to do this without Soundflower would to download the video, convert it to audio, import it into Logic. But now, what we're going to do is, we're going to hit play over here. In Logic, you can see that input 1516 is showing a signal. This is a live signal of the YouTube video that you're seeing. All I need to do is hit record and here the audio is being recorded live now I'll stop the video see that once again Let's hear this back. So you can imagine the millions of uses you can have for such a utility in, in, your, in your computer. I mean, apart from copyright infringement. Please use it for reference. Please use it to make work easier. Please make it to, uh, 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 you know, get your workflow started instantly rather than having to wait to download, convert, import, delete, tweak. Let's not do all of that. Let's spend time making great music. Hope you enjoyed all the tips and tricks. For any questions, write in. Thank you.